All right, let's get into it. Push up, jack, tap. On the way down, spread your legs out like you're doing a jumping jack. On the way up, you're gonna tap your opposite shoulder. 45 seconds, do as many as you can. Stop if you need to. Slow down if you need to. Remember, if you're going slow, you're still doing it, okay? It doesn't have to be full intensity, full speed. Sometimes I do this after a chest workout where my muscles are already a little bit used, a little bit fried. Hey, this is the finisher. In some cases, this is my first movement of the day. And still, no matter what, this first exercise, for some reason, always seems difficult. More so than even in the second round of doing something very similar. Don't get discouraged. All right. Take a second. Rest. Stretch it out. You got about 15 seconds in between each set. Push up, jack. All right. On the way down, jumping jack and push up at the same time. Oh yeah. Okay, let's get as many of these as possible in 45 seconds. Again, if you can't proceed, just hold high plank for a minute. Do it again. If you need to go back into child's pose for a couple seconds and just take a little breather, do so. But keep trying, keep pushing forward. Few more seconds. Grab a couple more. All right, child's pose. Chill out. Starting to feel that deep swell. Fire's burning on the inside. Get ready for plank jack push up. So in high plank, you do the plank, you do the jumping jack type move then proceed into a push-up. So a little less intense, still quite intense. Plank jack, push-up. Plank jack, push-up. Go for it. You know, if you can't go all the way down and come all the way back up, just do plank jacks without the push-up. Just do like five plank jacks without the push-up, and then maybe try to sneak one push-up in. At the end of the day, if you're doing this, and you're holding yourself in high plank, it's still a good place to be. See, I gotta cancel out sometimes and get back into it. All right. Take a breather. Deep swelling in your muscles at this point. Whew, man. All right, plank walk push up. So basically, you're gonna take your hand to the center underneath your body, do a push up while you move your leg over to the side, hand center, leg over, push up, hand center, leg over, push up. Keep it moving. And if you have to just move back and forth without the push up, then do that. If you have to take it slow, do that. There's so many different modifications that can be done in here. I'm just kind of showing you the kind of advanced, the intermediate advanced. Like I, I'm 48 going on 49. I know where I stand physically as far as my age group, but I know that, you know, a younger fella can probably do this without very much problem. Go to your level and then try to exceed that a little bit without putting yourself in danger. Get ready. Now, these usually are called sissy push-ups. However, in this case, this is no sissy move. Knees on the ground, push-up, normal speed. If you have to slow it down, slow it down. If you have to pause, pause. Just keep it going. Keep getting them. You're getting so deep into those muscles here. But when you're done, you're gonna feel more pumped than any time you've ever done weights. If you do this after weights, Ooh, yeah, that's the feeling I like the most. All right. We are getting into it. Yep. Wow, I was right. Now, back on your knees. 
similar position where you would do the knees down push-ups. Eight count down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Back down, same thing. Slow down, slight pause at the bottom, slow back up. And it just taking every last little bit of muscle energy that you have out. This will be the last set before we break for biceps. Maybe one more. Come on, baby. Yeah. All right. Now, get your dumbbells. I like to separate them by five to 10 pounds. So for a very long time, I was using 20, 25, 30. I recently got the Iron Master dumbbell set, giving me the ability to create some dumbbells that are a little bit higher. So right now, today, I'm going 25, 35, 40. And I'm gonna do 15 reps with the lightweight, 12 reps with the medium weight, eight reps with the heavy weight. And I'm gonna do both arms in that manner. And then I'm gonna switch it, and then I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna do eight reps with the heavy weight, 12 reps with the medium weight, and 15 reps with the light weight. Now, let's start with the light weight for 15. Okay, this shouldn't really feel too aggressive. And again, I like to do this following like, you know, a, a, a typical bicep workout with weights. This is the finisher, man. This is the thing that just takes you into the home stretch, breaks that muscle down so that you can rebuild it back up. Let's go. Next weight, 12 reps. Those Iron Master dumbbells, fantastic. Space saving, efficient, solid, functional, awesome piece of equipment. I can't say enough about that. except I wish I could change the weights a little bit faster. Okay, now up to the heavy weight, and you have to determine what that is for yourself, right? We're gonna do this for eight reps. For me, I'm at a 40 for this. Maybe it's a little bit of a stretch, but I wanna push myself. Yeah, there may be some slight swings in there, there may be some cheating a little bit, but at the end of the day, when you do that many reps, if you keep going through it and keep going through it, you'll get what you need. And just like with the chest work that we're doing here, the arm pump that you get from this is second to none. It's unbelievable. And remember, you're gonna keep that elbow on the leg. We're doing hammer curls here. Of course, you can do this in a, in a traditional way if you feel like it. Again, there's the variations. You do what you wanna do. This is just a guide. The guide for me is this simple kind of pyramid, right? It's, it's light, medium, heavy, light, medium, heavy, heavy, medium, light, heavy, medium, light, switch sides, okay? You can do this standing as well. With two dumbbells at the same time, which I often do. Twelve reps here. Medium weight on the opposite side. All right, heavy weight, eight reps. Again, if you're if you're pushing too hard, if your if your form is compromised a lot, lower your weight. Okay, this is this is grueling. The real grueling part is when you pick up that light weight that you were just tossing around for the first set on the way on the way back. We're almost at the halfway point through this upper body finishing workout. Okay? Now, reverse it. We're going to go heavy, medium, light. 8 reps, 12 reps, 15 reps. However, sometimes if I'm feeling it, this is where I'll do my own personal modifications. If I know that I'm exceeding like a weight class, or if I feel really good that day, for whatever reason, sometimes
Sometimes I'll make this first set 10 reps. Sometimes I'll even make it 12 reps if I can get it. Um, then I'll, I'll modify the, the, the next sets to follow. I'll make sure to always stay symmetrical and that I'm doing the same amount of reps on each side. Okay, 12 reps here. I mean, at this point, on this arm, at this spot, you should be feeling it. Okay, if you're not feeling it, your, your weights are too light. And if your form is super compromised, your weights are too heavy. So this is the lightweight. Okay, and I just want it to be clear. Okay, this is 15 reps here. That when I started doing this, I started with 10, 15, 20. So it wasn't like I was slinging these heavy weights around. Not that I'm really slinging heavy weights around now, but they're they're definitely considerable. But you do this with a 10, a 15, and a 20, and test it out. You know, if 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 you don't have that kind of strength, then like I started with my my 13 year old son, I have him doing um, a seven or eight, whatever that thing is down there, eight, 10, 15, and he recently bumped up to 15 to 20. So. You'll adjust these over time to meet your needs. This is just a guide. All right. That was the heavy set on the opposite side. Now we're down to the medium set for 12. Let's go. You got it. Come on. Don't be so concerned about that swing, right? Swings a little bit, whatever. When you're doing this, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you're done doing it, you'll really know what I'm talking about. The pump is unreal. Come on, baby. One more. Let's go, 15. The lightweight. Again, you'll be blown away at how heavy that lightweight feels in the final 15. Now remember, if, if it's too light, and you're just already into it, then on that light set, go for 20 reps, go for 25 reps, whatever. Just make sure that you are just working so hard those last five, six, seven reps that you can't even believe it. You know you could probably do another one, and it's just unbelievable how hard it is to do the lightweight. Right, okay, now this is the, the finishing finisher, the close push-up jack. So take your hands a little closer because we're gonna focus a little bit more on triceps and inner chest. Damn dumbbells. All right, so normally here, for some reason, I feel like I have more energy on the second round in this first set than I did on the first or second set of the first round. It's very strange, but it's like the first round gets you like ready and primed, and this is where you take it home. This is where you really do the finishing, okay? I'm always good on this first set for like 20 to 30 reps. And yeah, sometimes I like to do a pause, do little pulses and stuff like that. Work it out, child's pose. Get ready for the next set. Okay, slow dive push up. So it's a close grip push up. When you on your when you're on your way down, you're gonna lean forward just a little bit. And then the way back, you're going to push back into your heels. Uh, lean forward a little bit and push back. Yeah, you're really engaging your triceps and your center chest with this one. You're actually working your entire chest in every way. Your triceps, your shoulders, in every way. This is this particular set is the one that really gets me to that place. It's just like unreal. And it gets harder and harder. Again, sometimes I'll, I'll take a big pause at the, at the top. Get the energy. Push back into those tries. Come on, keep it going. Oh, God. All right. Just a few more here. And then you're done. The lap push up. This is pretty insane. You'll get a sore back from this. Okay? So the hand is pretty much centered you know and i like to use those lines on the ground while my other hand is out to the left or to the right okay pretty odd just 
just make sure you're prepared for it. But, you know, we're working this entire upper body of ours here, right? And so this does definitely incorporate more back, okay? Not that all push-ups don't, because push-ups do incorporate and use a lot of back muscles, actually. Um, but this particular one is targeting that. And the first few times that I did this, I got really sore, like I did a full-on back workout. So it's an interesting move that I really like. And I can usually squeeze out 10 of those in that set. 10 total, that is not 10 on each side. Feeling real pumped at this point, like exhausted, sweating, but I'm gonna keep going back to the knees, okay? This is just a little pulse, so you're not gonna do a full push-up. You're gonna do four or five inch pulse, as many as you can. Yeah, sometimes I'll come to the top and hold on for a second. It gets really intense at this point. Like if you've made it here and you're still going on, you'll know what I'm talking about. It gets brutal. And then when I'm done with this, I literally feel like I imagine what the rock feels like, <laughs> um, even though I'm five, seven and a buck 62 or whatever I am. It is the deepest, best swole you get from just some floor work, man. It's crazy. All right. This is it. This is the finishing move the last, the most awful. Okay, actually I take it back. This is the close eight count. We have two more left. So I got you all fired up, I lied. Eight down, eight up. Okay, again, we're getting to the end of this. So if you only have six down and you just gotta get right back up, then fine, just get through it. But if you can, close grip, eight count down. Hold it for a little bit at the bottom, eight count up. Ah, oh, your arm should be shaking, your chest should be shaking. Like you should be really, really in it now. I right, get that last one. All right, no lies this time. This is the finishing move. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is on your knees, you're gonna come down to a hover, okay? And when I say knees up, just exactly where your feet are positioned and you're in a hover, just lift your knees off the ground and hold it for 10 seconds, okay? You ready? Knees up, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, ah, I made it five seconds, whatever. Knees down, child's pose for a second. Let's go back down. Ready, knees up. Knees up, keep them up, keep them up. Come on, hover, hold it. All right, child's pose. We're in the home stretch here. The last 10 seconds. Are you ready? On the way down, hover, knees up. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, done that's it man bounce back up keep going baby look at that pump oh god it feels crazy okay full body sweat 20 minutes whether it's a finishing moves or if it's your it's your only workout no matter what this is an awesome thing to do so have at it and let me know what you think